Hi, my name is Cash, and I am a principal NetSuite consultant at Limebox, where we help you win on NetSuite. And today we're going to be talking about advanced intercompany management and eliminations for cross subsidiary transactions. So, this is something that um, many clients have been asking for recently, and uh, it's fairly straightforward to set up, but the documentation is uh, kind of scattered. So I thought I'd just go through some of the setup and the functionality. So first things first, first we want to set up a elimination subsidiary. So we have our subsidiary that's marked for elimination. Then we uh, have got to turn on the feature for advanced intercompany, automated intercompany management and the intercompany framework. Uh, then you will want to set up your intercompany accounts. Uh, you will need an intercompany AR, intercompany AP, intercompany COGS, intercompany revenue, and intercompany expense accounts. So it's here you can see uh, we have an intercompany expense account and we want to make sure that we check the eliminate intercompany transactions box and that we have all of our subsidiaries included. And then we're going to want to set up the intercompany management preferences under setup accounting. Intercompany preferences. This is where you will set all of your intercompany accounts that you created and uh, the cross-charge journal type, as well as um, any, if you want per line classification for netting, there's transfer price methods, you can uh, add a markup, uh, and then you can also set the representing entities to be automatically generated on the subsidiary record. These will create uh, intercompany customers and vendors so that the elimination process can take place. Then you will go to the inventory item and you will set your intercompany accounts thusly on your COGS account and your income account. Now another item is uh, you will see if here for intercompany inventory transfers, disable use item cost as transfer cost preference. That is located on the uh, accounting setup, accounting preferences, and then transfer orders in the order management section. You will uncheck this box right here. And now you can see that we have created a purchase order for our UK vendor, which is our UK sub, and that is for the on the United States subsidiary. Then what I'll do is I'll go to transactions, sales, manage intercompany, sales orders. So you can see I've got my purchase order here. I select uh, the United States to be the customer, and then I select the purchase order, and I generate sales order. Now you can see that the sales order has been created. If we open them both, you will see on the sales order here to the United States, and the purchase order has the paired intercompany transaction here. So once we do a fulfillment and receipt, I uh, will show you how the uh, elimination works. Okay, so now we've done our item receipts and fulfillments and done our billing. And you can see here in our income statement, we have intercompany COGS affected and intercompany revenue. Now we're going to run elimination. Okay, so we can see we've run the intercompany eliminations and now we will look at our income statement and there you go thank you very much for watching this video
Thank you.